morning. I'm Kayla. And I'm Jada. Today is Thursday, March 7th. It is a day three. Today's news is being brought to you by Mrs. Erdman's public speaking class. Today is the last day of trimester two. Please double check that you have all your missing work turned in. I can't believe that our school year is already two thirds of the way over. I'm ready for spring break and some nice warm weather. Let's check in with Zach to see if we'll be feeling any of that spring weather. Good morning. Today is Thursday. We will see a high of 34 degrees and it will be partly cloudy. On Friday, it's a high of 39 degrees and partly sunny skies with a 20% chance of snow. On Saturday, it will warm up a bit with 43 degrees and will have 70% chance of snow. Then on Saturday, Sunday, it'll cool down a bit with a high of 32 degrees and 50% chance of snow. I'm Zach Bowman. Now back to Caleb, Caleb and Jada in the studio. Well, probably not time to break up the shorts yet, but at least it's getting a little warmer. Driver's education forms are in the office for those 8th graders interested in signing up. You need to be 15 by June 1st, 2013. FICC theater auditions are March 12th from 3.05 until 5 o'clock in the lecture hall. The cost is $45. Community Ed is having a pool and pizza party on Friday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Middle School East for 5th graders. The fee for the party is $10. Please pick up a form in the office if you're interested in going. 5th graders will also want to pay special, special attention to this next commercial break for your next web event. We have a new thing for you guys called Goganza. It's March 15th. The cost is two dollars. And there will be more glow sticks inside. It's gonna be a blast. Looks like fun, fifth graders. Time to check in with Jordan to get today's sports news. There will be an organizational meeting Wednesday for all seventh and eighth grade boys and girls interested in going out for golf. The meeting will be right after school in the lecture hall. All 7th and 8th grade boys interested in playing spring tennis should stop and see Mr. Riles for more information. Coach Essler would like to meet with all football players grades 6 to 8 after school on March 13th to talk about summer football opportunities. This is the last week of winter weightlifting. The first spring session starts next Monday. You can register online or pick up a form from Mr. Kelly. Permission forms and $2 for the fan bus to see the girls varsity section championship game between the Knights and the Elk Knight and the Elk and Oak River are due into Mr. Sikulski by noon today. Now over to tape for ta today's roving reporter question. Who's your favorite sport athlete? Hi, my name is Deshaun. I'm in sixth grade and my favorite sports athlete is Ray Lewis. I'm Mr. Anderson. I'm a teacher here at Middle School West and my favorite sports athlete is Adrian Peterson. Hi, my name is Ethan Van Voren, and I'm in fifth grade, and my favorite athlete is Adrian Peterson. My name is Morgan, I'm in seventh grade, and my favorite athlete is Joe Myra because he's cute. Hi, I'm Marco Vasquez, and my favorite athlete is J.J. Watt. Thanks, Jordan. The Nightly News would like to give a shout-out to Student Council for putting together such a fun winter week last week. A big thank you from, to Mrs. Isle for organizing so many activities for the, for. I love to read them. Guys Choir will be starting up again next week, but on a different day and time. They will meet on Monday mornings from 7.45 a.m. to 8.15 a.m. in the choir room. This Starting this coming Monday, no lunch rehearsals. All guys are invited to join. See Mrs. Locke if you have any questions. There's also more information on Ms. Locke's teacher website. Tate and Dylan are on location with, with Ms. Casper, the lead cook at Middle School West. Let's see what Ms. Casper has to say about cooking up meals in Middle School West. Today we are here with Ms. Casper, the cook. What is your favorite part of being a lunch lady? When you guys come through the line and I can see all your smiling faces and, of course, cooking. What is the hardest meal to cook? Spaghetti day is really a tough day because you have to make spaghetti in between times, so it's good for you guys. What is your favorite meal to cook? Turkey and gravy and mashed potatoes. Do you have any meal? Do you make any of your meals the day before? Um, yeah, we do. We will pan up like pizza, quesadillas, some, something like that. We can pan up the day before to get ready. But otherwise, we make most of it that day. How do you decide what food we eat? That um, was kind of a tough one. There's several factors. Um, the main thing right now is we have to follow federal guidelines. So we have to have you guys take a half a cup of fruit and vegetables 
And a lot of different stuff falls into that area. And we also try and get what you guys like. So let us know if there's something that you want on the menu that isn't on there. How do you, how long does it take to make the food for all the students? Well, I get here at 7 o'clock in the morning and we serve at 10.30. So um, for three of us in the morning, it, it takes three and a half hours. What behaviors do you expect when students are in the lunch line? Um, main thing is respect, guys. Pay attention when you're coming through the line. Um, lines will go much faster if you pay attention. And please be courteous, respectful, and bring your lunch card to lunch. What is one thing students could do to make your job easier? Pay attention. Because uh, sometimes you guys are talking with your buddies and you don't know what's on the line and what's going on. So if you guys could do that, it would make things much easier for us. Thank you for your time, Miss Casper. All right, thanks, guys. Have a good day. Thanks for tuning in this week. It has been great for bringing you the nightly news. Have a nice long weekend.